Hello ServiceNow developers. Welcome back to ServiceNow Master. Today we are going to unlock the topic outbound notifications or the outbound email actions. It is the action with the help of which we can send the email notification to the end user. So this is my PDI personal developer instance here from the application navigator. We will write here notifications under the system notification email. We will go to this notifications module. Then after create a new notification. Now we will give the name to this demo outbound email action. Here we are going to select the table incident. After selecting table, here three sections are available. The first one is when to send, who will receive and what it will contain. First of all, we will fill the when to send section. Here we have three choices given the when to send, when the record is inserted or updated or the event is fired or triggered. In this video, we are going to discuss record is inserted or updated. Now we will select when this notification will trigger when the record is inserted or the record is updated. So we will click the checkbox both. Now here we can also add the condition. Now I have a condition like a, when the notification should be triggered, when record is inserted and the condition of that is that the priority of that record should be one or the critical priority one. This means that when the, this uh, notification will trigger when the record is inserted or updated and that updated or inserted record has a priority one. Then we will go to the who will receive here. You, we can add system admin also. Then after we can also add users from the users table also or we can use dynamic triggering also or the sending notification also for example i want to send notification to caller's manager for example current caller is a able tutor then his manager should receive a notification so i can use the dot walking like plus icon then i will find the manager field here this is manager field so the notification also we go to the caller's manager from here now we will go to the what it will contain here is out of the box email template available we can also customize the new also we will keep it the same now we can write here the subject we can write here regarding priority i here now we can also put here message what message we have to send to the user with the help of dynamic adding the numbers also like uh, I want the callers to be populated here then after I also want the number of that incident record so from here I can select the number also or also we can write uh, other message also like uh, Abu are the details here we have done with all the things now we can save this notification we have saved this notification now we will go to the incident table from here we will create one incident we will add the caller then after we will add the short description demo email or testing we have to keep the priority high so it will trigger our notification now we will save this form the format saved now we will go to to check whether the notification has been received or not uh, we have to go to the emails because I also I also have put it the system admin in the who will receive section and I am also I have logged in as a system admin now I will go to check the notification whether received or not in emails under system log here the sys underscore email table has opened yes I got a mail this is let me check Yes, this is the mail that we received. This is incident number. I have put the subject here like regarding priority high. Then after these number incident number also as well as the above are 
the details as well as the caller person name also.